Hello everyone, my name is Alfredo and welcome back for another episode in which we can talk about vintage sunglasses. Today I want to talk about another model of Casal that I love very much and also it is like a uh, it, it has a very special place in my heart because it was the first model that I uh, began with all my collection and this model is the Casal 856 and as you can see this model is very unique because it has a very symmetrical shape and also the colors are very unique and it is something that you will not find very easy in, in the market today and even you won't see a lot of people using this type of sunglasses. This model was the first model that I received or in which I start all my collection of vintage sunglasses. The story about this one is that I saw this model in a movie that is called Rock and Rolla. Maybe <laughs> a lot of you have watched this movie. So there is a part in which uh, one of the characters used this pair of sunglasses. Not this color, but he uses this model, which is the uh, color 244 if I remember correctly no 246 which is the uh, color blue and green and you also have some details in here and this one in particular now that you are seeing this um, model uh, has prescription lenses and this is also something very nice uh, about this model because uh, sometimes the models or some vintage sunglasses are not um, enabled to put uh, prescription lenses so this was my first pair but um, I like this one also very much and I decided to put uh, some prescription lenses in this one and as you can see it has uh, this part is adapted so you can put the prescription lenses in, in these sunglasses and well my, I want to congratulate also my optician because uh, they made possible uh, these prescription lenses into this model the Casal 856 and also as you can see this the original lens is only one uh, one lens it's like a unique lens that you it is only attached to the part of the frame and also uh, this one <laughs> it is a, a very important or very nice color which is the uh, red with green details in here and also you have some colors in this part and this one was the last model that I uh, received of this model the 856 this is the color 244 and as you can see uh, compare if you compare well this one this one versus this one this is like uh, it is more transparent but it is because this is part of the reissues models that appeared during the 2000s I think it was 2010s if I remember correctly but if you know the date and you want to share it you are welcome to do that and as you can see this model is more transparent versus these two because these two are uh, vintage or uh, made in West Germany so this is also part of the like nice things that you can uh, appreciate when you have vintage sunglasses in this case when it is transparent because you will see the pass of the time in this type of models this is a little bit uh, yellow but that is part of the natural process of aging of some vintage sunglasses and this is uh, well this was my first pair of sunglasses and also i want to thank vera which was the person that made possible this deal and I think that I will put some prescription lenses because uh, I think that is also some things that are not talked about in some forums that there are some models that you cannot put prescription lenses but there is a majority or well there is a part of the population I don't know if we are majority uh, I'm not sure about that but there is a part of the population of collectors or even, even normal people that doesn't collect vintage glasses but how would you feel if you love very much a pair of sunglasses but you cannot use them because you cannot put prescription lenses and well this is not something that you can fix very easily and <laughs> you need to uh, to go to a surgery so you could uh, get your eye eyes like fixed <laughs> but um, 
this one, uh, this model, I am so happy because I was able to put prescription lenses on it, and finally I was able to use them uh, until some months ago. So you could imagine this pair of sunglasses, this one, I received them like 10 years ago, but it was until now that I was able to use them. So <laughs> it passed a long time between my first pair of sunglasses of the Casal 856 uh, versus the time I was able to wear them. I wanted to use this color because it is very important for me because it was the first a pair of casals, my first uh, view into this world of vintage sunglasses. So that's why I prefer to use this color for my first pair of prescription lenses with the model Casal 856. So after that, I think that I will put prescription lenses into this one, that color 244, because it, it is a very nice color to wear. And well, that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the episode of the Casale 156. I want to do another episode in which I talk about the cases uh, that you use for the vintage sunglasses because it is also like another uh, word, because it is another part of collecting vintage sunglasses. So I hope that you are doing well and I see you in the next episode in which we will talk about more vintage sunglasses. So take care and have a good day.